Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 8 Chapter 14 Factorization Exercise 14F Question. So we will have in the first part A plus B whole square minus 1, right? So you will have A plus B whole square minus 1. And most of the mistakes that we do here is that we open this bracket, right? But we are not supposed to open this bracket, okay? What you are supposed to do is you will write this like this a plus b whole square minus one square right like this this will be a plus b minus one into a plus b plus one it is the same identity we have used in the previous exercise a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b but basically it is a little uh, difficult version of questions will be coming in this exercise right so we will have this here now see in the second question you have 3x minus 2y whole square minus 9z square right very simple okay how you will write this down 3x minus 2y whole square is as it is minus 9z square you can write as minus 3z whole square right this we can do now what you will have open the bracket and see in one bracket you will have 3x minus 2y minus 3z and in the other brackets you will have 3x minus 2y okay this is a this is a and minus b now you will have plus b so plus 3z clear now see the next part this is the third question you have 1 minus x minus y whole square that you can write down as the square of 1 minus x minus y whole square right basically what you have done this is your question we have written 1 as the square of 1 no problem you can write it this value will still be the same and here x minus y whole square that you had you had i have taken this as it is don't open it don't use a minus b whole square and identity to open x minus y whole square your entire question will become wrong what you should do here now you will write 1 minus now see carefully you need to see we are using the identity now we are opening so we will have in one bracket a and in the other bracket minus b so when i say minus b i mean minus x minus y clear so if you will open this you will have minus x plus y or not yes the signs of the uh, terms inside will change minus will change to plus plus will change to minus so a minus b so that we have taken as minus x plus y clear so basically the value if it is going to be with minus then signs will change okay and when you have plus the value will stay as it is 1 plus x minus y that is there inside the bracket that you write here also so this is your answer here you have 4x square minus 9 into 2x minus y whole square very clearly you can see where are your square terms and what uh, terms are they the square of right so see the square root 4x square is the square of 2x this we have done many times in the previous question also 2x whole square is 4x square that is clear minus sign you put now and see 9 is the square of 3 2x minus y whole square can be written as 3 into 2x minus y entire thing square right so 3 will also be squared that will give you 9 and 2x minus y will also be squared so you will have 2x minus y whole square right don't open this don't open this here your question will become wrong okay see what i am doing and solve see here now we, it is in the a square minus b square form now open this using the identity a square minus b square is equal to a minus b a plus b so first we will not open this for now i'll simplify this 2x whole square here minus now here you see 3 into 2x you can write as 6x clear 3 into 2x is 6x and 3 into minus y is minus 3y right 3 into minus y is minus 3y and put whole square now so this thing is basically just simplified version of this to avoid confusion now you can solve this and see you will have use the a minus b so 2x we are using a minus b here in the first record we are doing a minus b so 2x minus 6x whenever there is minus sign the signs of the terms will change plus 6x becomes minus 6x minus 3y becomes plus 3y right 
and in the other bracket what you will write down 2x now a plus b so 2x plus 6x minus 3y the signs of the terms will not change right this is what you have now you can solve it further and see what you will get here so 2x and minus 6x collect the like terms so this will be minus 4x plus 3y and 2x plus 6x is 8x minus 3y and that becomes your final answer right and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye